Okay, so this drawing we're going to do the suspended timber floor. Okay, so on a scale of 1 is to 10, I've drawn my traditional strip here, which is 1050 by 350 high. Okay, so with a suspended concrete floor, um, it's a slab of concrete that's going to be low bearing on my inside wall. Okay, on my inner leaf. So that inner leaf needs to be reinforced. So what to do is, so um, it's going to be a block on the flat. Right, so I'm going to come in, instead of coming in 350, I'm going to come in 295. Okay. Then my 100 mil outer leaf, 150 mil cavity, and then the black goes on the flat, okay, which is the 215 black. Okay. Now I'm going to do my outer leaf first of all. Get that up there. I'm going to put in my block work. So 215 and a one millimeter for, for cement. 3 layers first of all, 3 blocks on the outside, okay, and up to the third block, that is where the blocks in the flat stop, okay. So there are 100mm blocks in the flat. So 100 mil block on the flat with a 1 mil bed of cement. Now I'm going to tie them two walls together with an infill of concrete here. So, I can continue on my black work up here now. So, just sitting on the edge of the block in the flat, and continue on, turn the blocks up on their edge. Okay. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to put in my red arm area. Okay, so that comes in at the third block, comes across the cavity. I put a slight lift on it here. It hits the inner leaf and comes up along the inside block. the inner leaf and we're back down onto the lock on the flat. Out there. Okay so with our add-on barrier it never sits directly in the hard core you'll have some blinding there for some well, 40 mil blinding underneath it.
compartment lining and then there are two layers of hardcore fit. So then we're going to put in our concrete slab, okay? Um, which is depending on the span of the floor, um, it depends on the kick thickness of the, the concrete you put in. But for this one, I'm just going to put in 225 just to sit, fill in this black here, yeah. Okay, bring my concrete symbols. So sitting on top for a concrete slab then, we have 100 mil insulation. Okay, and then we're gonna have 65 mil screed on top of that. Okay. And we're gonna have 30 mil insulation between the block and the screed. insulation yeah so back out to our outer leaf I'm gonna put in my DPC so up four blocks again. It goes in there. And it goes in there. Okay. So I want to insulate my cavity. So it's a hundred mil insulation hooking the inside wall. Insulation, so I'm going to put my uh, internal render, 12 mil, external 18 mil. Tongue and groove floor, 25 mil tongue and groove floor. Yeah. 100 mil boards. Garden board. And we have to reinforce our concrete. Okay. Uh, 75 mil from the bottom.
Now, that is our suspenders concrete floor. Okay, so you have your traditional strip, our traditional strip 105 off by 350. Okay, try to keep the wall in the same so come in 295 out relief, 100 mil, 150 mil cavity, and then we put the block on the flat. Okay, so blocks are 215, so on the flat we're coming out 215. Okay, so six blocks on the flat brings you up to the same height as three blocks on edge. Put in your concrete infill, okay, and your hardcore. Then your DPM comes across your tour block, across the cavity, up with a block at its edge on the inner leaf, and it follows it down around. So that's your concrete fill lid, okay, your slab, 100 mil insulation, 65 mil screed, tongue and groove flooring, um, 30 mil insulation between the screed and the inner leaf. 100 mil insulation hook on the wall and um, we forgot our wall ties yeah holding the insulation in and then we have our external render and our dpc okay dpc in the fourth black up so that's your suspended concrete floor detail